Hello and welcome to my next video, which is all about downloading and installing Autodesk Civil 3D 2022. We take a look um, what are the different ways how you can download and install it. And then, of course, we will open it up as well. But uh, let's start from the very beginning, meaning that uh, what are different ways how you can download the software? So if you go to autodesk.com website, then you can search a product that you are interested in from Autodesk perspective um, from the web page, or you can just type in those shortcuts. For example, if I add slash civil 3D, then I'm landing onto civil 3D web page. And from here, I can also download civil 3D. So in here, I have download free trial. I will open this dialog up. And I can see, for example, available platforms that I do need to have Windows 64 bit. Also, I do recommend to check other system requirements. Uh, this download size is about 16 gigabytes. So remember that you have enough space also for downloading and installing the product. Maybe it's good to have a portable drive to download to. And of course, you do need also have a good internet connection. Now, if I click next, then I can state uh, which kind of user I will be. This is not yet uh, kind of required that you state uh, what user you will be. For example, I can do that later. I will install a product and then if I decide uh, to subscribe, then uh, I get a specific license code. And if I'm educational user, then I will use just an educational portal to get the license. So from that perspective, there are no key differences why you have to pick one or the other. Of course, if you select a student or teacher, then you will be redirected to educational portal. And this is quite obvious step that uh, you start from there. But let's assume that uh, currently I'm a business user. I select um, English uh, language and then next. Then I do need to have Autodesk account and it's free to create it. You just click create account but if you have it already, then you can um, just input it into appropriate box, email and also a password and you just sign in. Now you have to include some information about your company and then you have a begin download button. Now remember that uh, depending on the location from where you download, and I do mean Autodesk uh, locations, there are different ways how different products are offered in terms of uh, downloading installation. So for example, if I click begin download, I will see that uh, I'm saving a web install setup option. And this means that uh, I basically download all my files while doing installation, which is okay if you just install the product maybe one time or into one PC. But uh, if you plan to install it into multiple machines or maybe you are IT manager and you want to install it into different machines and maybe you want to have it just in case that uh, you may want to reinstall the product, then probably this web install is not the best choice. But let's see how it goes. So for example, if I download this small file, I hit save. If this is now downloaded, then I open it up from that location I download it to. And it's probably the easiest way how you can download and install the product. Because in here you will see that actually you are starting some installation straight away and you have to agree with the license. I agree and click next. And then you can uh, choose where to install it. For example, default location is just fine. And uh, if you click next, then you can include some subcomponents, additional tools, for example, subassembly composer and uh, also AutoCAD performance reporting tool. And that's it. Basically, you can start installation. But in general, uh, Civil 3D do have different additional products. And uh, if you use this option, then you can add those different products also later on, for example, using Autodesk desktop app. And uh, this is installed uh, with your Civil 3D 2022. And once you have installed it, then you can check if there are any updates or additional products for Civil 3D. But there are different ways how you can actually download the product. And uh, as I mentioned, Sometimes it makes more sense that uh, you first download the product and uh, then you will install it 
at later times. Instead of uh, continuing, I'm just uh, cancel this time my installation and let's quickly see other options. For example, if you are current subscriber, meaning that you already have previous version of Civil 3D, then, and you also have active subscription, then you can go to manage.autodesk.com and from here you can download also your key products, including Civil 3D. For example, if I select all products and services, I can see all my Autodesk products. Remember, if you are a new user, you don't see any product in here, then you have to first uh, initiate or subscribe to some particular product and they will appear later on also in this page. Currently, I do have Civil 3D as a previous user and if I select this, I can see that uh, actually I can download also 2022 from here. And which is good actually in this case is that I can select how I want to download. So there are different ways to do it. So if I select few downloads, then I can select version 2022, platform, language, and now I can see also different options how I can download, install my product. So if I select few all, I can see that in here I also have install now, which I just uh, cancelled a couple of minutes ago. I also have download now, which I will use this time. It will use small product download manager, but uh, in some cases your only choice is browser download. In this case you are downloading your files through regular browser download and you have to pay attention to that in that case you do need to probably, you do need to download not just one file, but uh, maybe two, three files. And they will pop up just one by one and uh, you will download. Otherwise, you just will not get a complete package to install the product. That is also a key reason why I prefer download now. So I will use download now and I select it. Now I get a notification. Do I want to open Autodesk Download Manager? Yes, I do. And then I select the location to where I want to download those files. So if I click change, I will just uh, make a new folder and we'll do a subfolder. I hit OK and now OK also in this small dialog. And then actually my files will be downloaded. And once this is finished, then I can also install the product straight away. But while this is happening, I will just show you different other ways how you can download Civil 3D 2022. First of all, I can minimize this download manager and I can also close this Civil 3D window. One new possibility how you can download Autodesk 2022 products is using custom install. And I have shown it uh, already in my previous videos. So I will just quickly go through what are the key differences in here if you want to use it. Because in that case, you will pick all those subcomponents that you want to include into your installation as well. So basically, you don't have to install those separately at later steps. You can also do some changes in terms of where you want to install the product. So in a way, it's a kind of silent install or silent installation method. But first, you have to select license type because I'm educational user in here. I pick serial number. Again, remember that if you are a new educational user and you haven't yet stated those products at your Autodesk educational website, you don't see any product in here. So this is more or less for current user. But if you have used those products beforehand as an educational user or business user, then you have all those available in here as well. So I pick Civil 3D. I can then see my serial number and product key, also which version I want to download. So in that case, I install the product and it will be activated as well. But in addition, you can also customize your installation. For example, you can select which profiles you want to install because I'm a metric user, I don't care about Imperial version. I can also create a desktop shortcut to fire up Civil 3D as AutoCAD. Then I can change, if I need to, different path variables. And I also have an option to include extensions like SubAssembly Composer, also for Inventor, Infrastructure Modeler plugin, a separate product to carry out 
storm and sanitary analysis. You can select it from here as well. And also if you are creating content in terms of pipe or pressure network, then infrastructure parts editor as well. Those will be and can be installed through Autodesk app if you haven't selected those beforehand or if you are missing those during your preliminary installation. But let's now move forward to Autodesk educational portal and let's see those differences in here. So I go to autodesk.com education. Again, I do need to activate my Autodesk account as a student or educator. This step may take some time and you do need to have some kind of proof that you are a student or educator. But once you have activated your account, then you can start to download your products also from here. For example, if I'm selecting right now educator, I scroll down and I can see that, okay, get products. Now I do need to validate my account. So I click on sign in. It may take some time. And once your account has been validated, you should see a message that, okay, it's valid up to some date. And then you can select a product. So remember, you have to select those products from here and then they will appear into your Autodesk account. At least in current version, this is a way how you can do it. And if I scroll down, I can find Civil 3D, get license. Again, I can see a sign in button, but it will disappear automatically. And I should see a you are confirmed message if my account has been validated. And then you can select license type. For example, right now I'm educational user. And that is the reason why I see different options deploy without network server. If I want to install it into a single machine and then I can select a version operating system and language. And now basically my license key will be generated and it is connected to my account. I can scroll down and start to download the product. And in here, I can see also two options. Download now is download manager that I'm currently carrying out and then also browser download. So I'm not going to repeat this time this download, but I want to point out that if you are a student, then in that case, you will see different options again. And I will show it straight away. I just opened up a different browser. I will open up autodesk.com and education. I will log in, so sign in. And now I'm using my previous student account, also password. And if I select students and then I will scroll down, I can see again, similar section, get products. I have to confirm my student status. So sign in, okay, it's all valid. And then I can just scroll down and I can find Civil 3D also from here. And if I select get product, then now I can see different options in here. And this is again, install or download. So install is this uh, web install that I showed you beforehand that uh, you basically download very small file. And then while installing the product, downloading all needed files is happening as well. But uh, again, you have to just uh, remember that uh, you have different options, how you can do that. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, you will get the same product, but uh, then activation is a bit different. So some products are activated through your account and some products are activated through serial number. Okay, let's now wait once our download is finished and let's see how we can install Civil 3D 2022. By the way, if you have minimized your Autodesk Download Manager, then you can just find it from here, Autodesk Download Manager, and then you open up Autodesk Download Manager and your downloading process is still going on. Not much to wait. And once this is finished, all files are actually also extracted to the location we defined. And you can straight away, if you want to, start the installation process. So let's wait. Okay, the download is now finished. I have to confirm that I want to start installation. And then I can see a similar screen, what we already had 
once we started a first example of installation. I have to agree with the license terms. Of course, I can select also language, yeah, next. And then I can select the location to where I want to install it. Again, next. I can include some additional components. Once again, I have to mention that uh, not all components will be installed. And those are available through Autodesk desktop app. Because I already have AutoCAD 2022 installed, then this is the reason why I see that it's already installed. But if you are installing Civil 3D into a clean machine, then you can decide if you want to include also additional components. Before I hit install, I will take a quick look to the location to where I downloaded my files. So, as stated, once I started the download process, that my location will be install Autodesk as such, then I want to just check what is the size of the folder. So I do a right click and then properties and I can see that yes, that's 8 gigabytes. But depending on which download option you will use, then the size of the download could be also bigger. And also, especially when you use custom install into where all those different plugins, apps, additional sub-components will be also included. So please just be sure that uh, you have enough space when you download those files into a machine. And if you decide that, okay, I don't want to install it uh, straight away, then you always have those files ready and you can do that later. Or maybe you want to reinstall or maybe you want to install it into different machines. You can even copy this into your portable drive and then it makes everything easier in terms of installation. So if I select this folder, then I can see that in here I do have a setup.exe once I want to install the product at later times. But let's continue. Let's continue with the installation. So I hit install and now I can see that um, installation starts. Of course, in current case, it takes a bit less time because I already have AutoCAD 2022 installed. But otherwise, because I do have all files downloaded, it will be a lot quicker than doing a install now option in where while installing also files will be first downloaded into a machine. So that is a key reason why I prefer to have those files already downloaded and then I will install the product. So let's wait once this is finished. We can already see that icons are also ready at my desktop. So Civil 3D is installed and now also SubAssembly Composer is installed as well. And I can finish my installation just clicking finish. I can also close this download manager. And now I can see two options actually how I can open up my Civil 3D. Because I was using a download manager and not a custom install. Remember, you can recall that in custom install you were able to states that if you want to include both options, Civil 3D Imperial and Civil 3D Metric. Because I'm currently metric user, then I can straight away delete this icon because uh, I probably never use it anyway, I delete it. Now, before I fire up my Civil 3D, I already saw some notifications about my product through Autodesk Desktop app. So if I go to that, I open up Autodesk Desktop app, and then I click my updates. Then I can take a look into Civil 3D 2022 release options. If there are any additional plugins, products, for example, Infrastructure Parts Editor is here and I can include it into my Autodesk Civil 3D. I can also see Inventor Infrastructure Modeler plugin. I do need to have Inventor to be able to use it. And again, this is used for parametric components, for example, for pipe network, pressure network. And I also see Storm and Sanitary Analysis 2022. All those components that were selectable through custom install are now available through Autodesk Desktop app because I was not downloading or installing those straight away. So I can decide later if I want to have one or if I decide it later. Okay, let's uh, close Autodesk Desktop app and let's open up Civil 3D 2022. I do a double click on this icon and my Civil 3D 2022 
will be opened in my machine first time. Let's wait a bit once it's loaded. Because I haven't yet activated my product, I can now see a general message that uh, do I want to start a trial? I will then click start trial or if I have a license already available. So let's pick start trial and I can use the product 30 days. I can close this marketing message as well. And then I have a notification that uh, I do have that much left of my trials. So currently it is 30 days. But if I want to activate my product and because I'm currently educational user, then I do activation code ready, then I can do that activation at any time while my trial is going on. If I click onto my Autodesk account name, I can click manage license and then I can click activate and now I can just enter serial number or of course, depending on how I'm using Civil 3D, it may be also account based or network license, different options are available. In my case, it is serial number, I select this and then I can activate and now I have to input my serial number and I can find this serial number through autodesk.com education or from manage.autodesk.com and I will just copy those numbers and then I hit next. I have to sign in to my account again. I also click stay signed in and sign in. I will select my account under which I want to register my product. I hit next and I should get a message that my Civil 3D 2022 has been successfully activated. So I finish and close this window. And now I don't see any more this 30 day or whatever it is, trial icon. My product is activated, activated currently as educational version. So I can use the same download for different types of um, activations. I don't have to uninstall and install the product again. So I can basically apply a different license at any time. And in some products, it is connected with your Autodesk account. So you just simply log out and log in with different account and then your license type may be also changed. Okay, in Civil 3D 2022, there are some new features. Obviously, some new features are also coming from previous versions already and they do have some slight updates. For example, Project Explorer. This should be installed separately and it will communicate with your Civil 3D drawing or database and it takes all your objects into kind of separate window and helps to carry out some additional activities. So basically it's an upgrade to Civil 3D tool space. And in this version 2022 there is also support for pressure network parts. But we will take a closer look to those options at later times. Of course you have a connection to InfraWorks and in my future videos we will also take a look how we can carry over some InfraWorks design into Civil 3D in terms of bridge design and then there are some updates also available in terms of alignment especially you can now create connected alignment. I will also quickly check what is my TWG file version in this version 2022. If I select this small C icon, I can access to my new open save as tools. If I select save as drawing, I can see that I'm still using AutoCAD 2018 drawing format. This is important once we start collaboration in between different companies who might use different version of Civil 3D as well. Okay, this was all about downloading and installing Autodesk Civil 3D 2022. As you saw, it's quite an easy step. Also, downloading, installing and activation, if you have a key already available. Um, but uh, in my later videos, we focus on two different key features and workflows in between different Autodesk products 
and let's take a look how you can kind of upgrade your workflows in terms of sharing data in between Civil 3D, Infraworks, Revit and as such. So see you then and bye bye. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.